Achieving extreme realism in your 3D scenes requires realistic lighting, shadows, reflections, and refractions. Using 32-bit HDRI or OpenEXR images instead of an 8-bit JPEG background image and lights has two advantages. Number one, you'll get a faster and simpler workflow, and two, spectacularly realistic renders. In short, achieving professional renders is as easy as dropping in a 32-bit image onto a sky object and hitting render. In this example, we see the difference between using an 8-bit background image and a 32-bit HDRI image. Note how the 32-bit HDR format brings out lifelike reflections and refractions in the glass, while the 8-bit JPEG image looks flat and dull. In photography, high dynamic range images are typically created by compositing multiple exposures to capture and bring out information in the extreme shadows and highlights of a photograph. These exposures are then tonally mapped using software and merged to create a visually pleasing image. In 3D, however, the purpose is to make use of the extra luminance information stored in the 32-bit images to bring the same environment that was shot in the camera into the 3D environment. While standard JPEG files contain 256 levels of brightness, the information contained in an HDRI image extends into the millions of shades of color and luminance. In this 8-bit JPEG, changing the exposure levels darkens the entire image. However, in this 32-bit version, you can see how changing the exposure levels reveals hidden details in the highlights. This particular image has an exposure value of 9 and above in the sun area. In an 8-bit JPEG, this value is 0. This extra luminance information is sent to the render engine where it is used to create highly realistic reflections, shadows, refractions, and specular details on the objects inside the scene when global illumination is turned on in the renderer. In complex scenes, global illumination can slow down render times. However, you should also calculate the time you're saving by not fiddling with lights and environment maps on the front end. Certain settings can help optimize your global illumination render times. If you're planning to use an HDRI inside Cinema 4D as image-based lighting with global illumination, we recommend using the physical renderer, use Quasi Monte Carlo as the primary method instead of the default irradiance cache, then change the sampler to progressive for quicker visual feedback. And be sure to turn off the default light in the render settings under the options tab. Even without global illumination, HDRI and Open EXR images still bring realistic reflections and refractions that cannot be achieved using an 8-bit JPEG. Shooting an unobstructed HDRI panorama of the sky is quite difficult. C4 Depot uses a drone to fly above buildings and trees to produce ultra-high resolution HDRI sky panoramas of over 19,000 pixels with high exposure values. Although preparing a high resolution HDRI panorama takes days to create, C4 Depot makes a wide variety of sky styles available to maximize your productivity while enhancing the professionalism of your renders. Visit C4 Depot to see a full range of HDRI panoramas and value packs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the depot. Bye now. <music>